Mm-hmm. But uh, I guess uh, speaking on just the, the randomness of, of life, after 51 years, the Zodiac Killer cipher has been solved by amateur code breakers. Amateur, like, that's what I'm saying. I know. Uh, more than 50 years after the so-called Zodiac Killer first began ter- the so-called <laughs> terrorizing the streets of Northern California, a, cr- a code broke. Damn, this team broke me. Just trying to read this. A code-breaking team is believed to have finally cracked one of the killer's mysterious coded messages sent to the San Francisco Chronicle in 1969. Dubbed the 340 cipher. Sounds like a rap. The E-40 cipher. (laughs) The message was unraveled by a trio of code-breakers. David Oranchik, a software developer in Virginia. Jaro Van Eyck, (laughs) a Belgian computer programmer. And Sam Blake, an Australian mathematician. (sighs) These names sound so fake. Decoding the cipher revealed the following message. It was sent in all capital letters without punctuation and included the misspelling of paradise. I hope you are having lots of fun and trying to catch me. That wasn't me on the TV show, which brings up a point about me. I'm not afraid of the gas chamber because it will send me to paradise all the sooner. Because I now have enough slaves to work for me where everyone else has nothing when they reach paradise they are afraid of death. I am not afraid because I know that my new life will be an easy one in paradise death. The TV show the message refers to is the Jim Dunbar show, a Bay Area television talk show. The cipher was sent two weeks after a person claiming to be the Zodiac Killer called into the show. It was incredible. It was a big shock. I never really thought we'd find anything because I had grown so used to failure. Orange Shack, who's been working on solving the killer's message since 2006, told CNN. When I first started, I used to get excited when I I would see some words come through. They were like false positives, phantoms. I had grown used to that. It was a long shot. We didn't even really know if there was a message, he said. The trio took their findings to the FBI a week ago, but didn't reveal their big breakthrough until the FBI is confirmed, cleared by the authorities, they said. And then for the people I don't know, the Zodiac Killer is most known for leaving a trail of five unsolved murders between 68 and 69. He was never caught, but he gained no, 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 notoriety by writing letters to police and local mili- Media up until 1974, sometimes in code, boasting of the killings. Bloody bits of clothing were included with the letters as proof of his actions. He claims he killed as many as 37 people. It says, due to the ongoing nature of the investigation, out of respect for the victims and their families, we will not be providing further comment at this time, the FBI said. So, what do you think about that, man? I think it's cool. I think it's crazy that it took this long. I think this is the second one, and the first one. You know, do you know about the first one? No. This one's the first one's cool only because of. It's cool for us. It's cool because the first person that solved it was a Selena school teacher. Oh, that's crazy! The very I first cipher. Yeah, I didn't know that from Selena. Yeah. So. What what high school? I don't know. I don't what know. I don't know. Kindergarten teacher. <laughs> 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 yeah. boarding class. I know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but I thought that was cool when I seen that. Like, yeah, that's crazy. I, I didn't know about that. But I think this is cool. I mean, it's whack that we never found him. Yeah. I mean, but maybe this will help lead to him. Yeah, but how, like... Obviously, he'll probably be dead by the time we figure it out. But. Yeah, like, how old was he when he was doing this? And then this was in the, like... The 68, 69. 69. So, let's just say 70. What is that? 50 years? 50 years ago. And if he was 18... And he was 18... So well, I, mean, I he doubt still, he could be alive. Yeah, I doubt he was eighteen. I think he was older, but but still, I was just saying, even if he was like minimum eighteen, yeah, he'd be what like sixty eight. So, so, if you were a serial killer, and you never got caught, at any point would you give yourself up? Maybe, I would if I'm yeah, if I, I'm dying. I was saying maybe like at the end, end, end. I for sure would. Like ninety ish, eighty, you know. Because I feel like don't like. Don't they do it for the no, like? To, yeah, to be like, known. The attention, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely giving myself up. Yeah. Like, because then you don't want no one else taking the credit. Like, yeah, no. Nah. Or just being a mystery. I mean, it's. I guess it's cool to be a mystery, but it's. Nah. Nah, I killed him. You can't let all your work go. Yeah. yeah. Like, especially something like this. Like, this is like when you're like, the Zodiac killer. Like something named yeah. crazy and like. I don't know, and the fact that you're able to get away for so long. Yeah. It's like, the only reason I'm getting caught is because I'm letting myself get yeah, caught. Yeah, like, yeah, I won. <laughs> yeah. Like, At the end of the day, I won. Yeah. You can pretend that you guys made a breakthrough, this and that, yeah. whatever you want, but you, you know and I know. How do you feel about killers, though? Like, uh, yeah. these kind of killers, like, 
I mean, as long as I don't kill me, we can kick it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you invite him to the party? Well, yeah. No, obviously I, I would because I didn't know they were killing. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't kill too many people at the party. <laughs> For real. Hey, where'd everyone go? <laughs> no, nah, but like serial killers are interesting though. Yeah. They are. They are. They are. Like I like the idea <laughs> of a serial killer. Yeah. I don't like that they've killed people obviously. Yeah. But I like that. Like if it was a TV show, you would like it? Like nah, a, no. I guess I do like that they kill people. Yeah. In real life. Because it, that's what makes it interesting. Yeah. Is the fact that they did it and got away. But, it, but so what I was going to say was, if... You don't like the act of them killing people. Yeah, like, I don't want, like, oh, I like that this person lost their life. Like, no. Nah. Yeah. But the fact that they, it's already happened... Yeah, so there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you do about it. It's, it's, a, it's a cool It's thing. interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. It's interesting for sure. But I've seen people saying they think maybe, uh, you know, uh, the dude that jumped out of the airplane? The what? The, the dude that jumped out of the airplane? Uh, with a bunch of money he stole it yeah D.B. Cooper yeah a lot of people were saying because he was never found either saying connected him with this guy like oh he might be this guy maybe I don't know what that yeah I know that, that, that's already a crazy uh, qua- a crazy, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk today I can never talk a yeah. crazy uh, you know coincidence like he's already like damn he's already this crazy and now he's doing this yeah. like what are the odds of you not getting caught on two different things like that's that's like it's already a really crazy thing yeah, like you never be able to do this nowadays. <laughs> yeah, no, how's no? Like being a serial you, killer, you, you get tracked. Like yeah. your phone, like literally GPS is you. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, watch, there's probably serial, serial killers out there. Like, yeah, there probably are. I'm, I mean, I'm a serial can. killer. Like, you can probably throw away some. You'd have burner phones thrown yeah. away. I feel like we or so not tough, take though. not take a phone with you. But see, even then, like you leave your phone at home and be like, I was at home the whole time. Yeah. Check my cell phone. But yeah. like, I feel like there'd be so many things catching you, like not at home. So right there, they could already say, yeah. Well, you say you were at home. Your phone was at home, but there's a security camera showing you. There's too like, many cameras. Like yeah, like down the two blocks away, your car leaving, or, you know. There's way too many cameras. That's what I was saying. Yeah, it's crazy. Because you'd have to like, yeah, there's probably cameras near your house somewhere. Yeah. Either another house has a camera or a business or something like that. So you'd have to leave your car there at home. Yeah. To say you were at home, but then they'd see you leave. Who left? I don't know. It's, yeah. I feel like it's impossible, bro. Because yeah. somebody would have seen you. Well, a lot of people get away with killings here in Salinas. Yeah, but that's one killing. Yeah, exactly. Well, that I mean, it could have killed multiple people. I yeah. don't know. But, but obviously, once you start getting that heat on you, like, yeah, yeah I know what you're... Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Because, like, cause once they start, like, figuring out it's you, they're going to, like, watch everything you do. Yeah. And, like, it'll be caught. Like, you can't just kill 30-something people. Yeah, for real. Yeah. In, like, a short period of time. Like, yeah. nah, there's no way you're getting caught. Like, because you would do it, like, when they were at the park or something. Yeah. While they were doing it. And, um... Like, someone would call, you know, on their phone. Back then, maybe they were pay phones, so you couldn't call mm-hmm. right away. He would call, actually. Yeah. That makes it crazy. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. That was like, wait You'd a minute. His... He would call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, you know what's also crazy? is like, why were there so many serial killers back then? I don't know. It's like, just, nowadays, we got shit to do. more like... We got TikTok now. <laughs> yeah. But we got, like, mass shooters, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if there was that many back then. They're more just like... Just, they traded the knife for a gun. We'll just kill one person, wait a couple all, of weeks. Uh, instead of us doing all this work, let's just get it out the way and yeah. do it all at once. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, instead of, like... I don't know. I really hope we find this guy, though. Yeah. Um, he said the way they cracked the cipher... Uh, he detailed it on his website in a YouTube video. Where he used a specifically developed decryption software and a bit of luck to finally make the connection. The team used a unique program to sift through 650 variations of the message, and one, a couple of words appeared. We got really lucky and found one that had part of the answer, but it wasn't obvious, he said. He said, the only disappointing part is that the missive contained no personally identifying information. Orange Chat holds out no hope for solving the, rem- the two remaining ciphers. He described the mission as almost hopeless, as both are very short with thousands of different names and phrases that could fit. That's crazy. I wonder why you would make something like that and then you make it so hard that no one ever finds it, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. That's crazy that they had to use a computer and they still can't figure it out. But North Salinas High School. Oh, that's the high school I went to. Donald uh, Hardin? Hardin? The one that founded Hardin Middle School? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he, when did he do this, though? With his wife? 
Damn, yeah, that's hard. that's relationship goals Solid right there. Code. Oh, 1969. Damn, the same year it came out. That was a beast. What does it say? So Harden and his wife, this is 1969, lived, uh, or lives changed completely when an unknown person sent three cryptograms to three different newspapers. The unknown person demanded that the newspapers print, print the cryptograms completely or he will go on a rampage. None of the top experts were able to solve the codes completely. One of the newspapers got a call from Harden and his wife saying that they solved the code completely. Harden told the reporter how he and his wife broke the code completely. The rest is history. Harden got front page on August 9th, 1969. Him and his wife did it. He got the front page. <laughs> Dirty. Uh, so, I guess he wasn't a teacher yet. That's how he became a teacher? No, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ended up dying in 2012. Oh. His body was donated to science care. <laughs> They're going to check out that brain. <laughs> and they cremated his body. He was said to be a gentle person. His favorite move was the man with two brains. <laughs> <laughs> He's the killer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's cool. Yeah, so, yeah. That's cool for, like, a, that's that's the high school I went to, guys. That's insane. Yeah. And I never heard of this, man. I feel like that's something they should have. They should have, like, that should be, like, a thing around the school, like, no. Yeah. Some piece of history right there. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I don't know why they, I didn't know that. I don't even feel like we talked about the Zodiac Killer. It's crazy in school. Yeah.